Hello everyone, all who are one body of Christ. Our Savior, welcome to the sale that is going together. Today on Med Thingy Pond, our weakness is in His grace. Produce a supernatural result. Before we start, let's see a scripture talks on this topic. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. But He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we just read. His strength works in us when we are tired and ready to pull over and quit. When we feel the resistance or some type of diversion in our lives from the devil to stop that what we are doing. That's the time of assurance that we're doing something right to fulfill his plans from our lives. The purpose God made for us, sometimes it could be a voice from our natural response, questioning ourselves, why I have to do all this? Who cares if I don't do it? I have plenty of other tasks to do. So why do I have to go through all this when no one cares? We feel unappreciated or taken for granted. All these emotions are natural and true, but ungodly. These are the things that get triggered from a devil to divert us and bring us our morals to the point where we give up. He uses these emotions to divert our focus from the task we are doing. That's the place we must understand that we are going in the right direction because the devil only cares and pushes all of our buttons to divert us, to take away our focus, away from the task he has chosen for us. Those are the stressful times when we want to pull over and quit. Those are the times we need today's promise. The Apostle Paul learned the lesson that we need to know. Even in the most tiring times, Christ is enough. He gives us the help and strength we need to persevere. That means life doesn't have to seem like an uphill battle. We have the strength to make it through even the most tiring of circumstances. The correct response to these ungodly emotions is to meditate on today's verse, which is to direct promise from him, assuring that he will be with us now and forevermore and have faith in him and act with perseverance and persistence to become champions over the devil's plan and defeat your enemy. This message also gives a promise today today. The promise is, I will give you the strength you need. You will be able to do whatever is necessary. Let's close time prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, my dear wonderful God, Lord, I need your help. I feel so weary and tired. Without your power, I don't feel like I can continue. With your help and strength, I know I can do whatever task you have assigned. I look to you and trust because I know you are faithful. And in my weakness, you are power works in me than ever before. Give me strength, wisdom, and knowledge so I can continue to serve you in all what I do today and evermore. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. If God's going to talk to you tomorrow.